Sweeney and this is Under the Choco Tree. When we think about plant propagation, more often than not it's uh, seeds and seed raising, uh, but there are some plants that don't do well that way and uh, you need to turn to making cuttings. Uh, cuttings uh, can also have their issues because they need to be kept moist but not too damp uh, over a period of time so they can send their roots out. So what I'd like to show you today is a, a little pot in pot propagator that will allow you to do that. To make the pot in pot propagator you need, strangely enough, a couple of pots. This one's about 110 millimetres, this one's about 210 millimetres. You just need a couple of pots that will fit one inside the other to give you a bit of room, which is where you're going to insert your cuttings. You also need to have a, uh, a pot saucer because some of the water is going to be, need to be able to drain out. So if you've got this anywhere inside or in a warm area uh, where you don't want to uh, have water getting onto it, then the pot saucer will be a good thing. You're also going to need some bits and pieces to go in the bottom, uh, bits of um, terracotta, broken terracotta pots is perfect. Uh, that goes in there, it stops the uh, propagating medium uh, from going through the drainage hole. So to make it's a fairly simple thing, uh, what you do is you get your pot, and always remember, silicon is my friend, um, silicon up the hole in the smaller pot. With this pot, you then need to put in your broken terracotta uh, pieces. Just got a couple of them down there. Put them in the bottom so that your propagating medium doesn't run out. Now you can use any one of a number of different propagating mediums. I like coarse sand. It works quite well. Um, fairly cheap and easy to come by. So it's just a case of filling up the larger pot, fitting the smaller pot in, and then filling around it. So what you wind up with is one pot inside the other with the propagating medium in between, the smaller pot which has the drain hole blocked, you fill up with water and then because these are unglazed terracotta pots the water will move slowly through into the propagating medium. So then all you need to do with your cuttings is take the cutting, put on rooting powder or honey or willow water or whatever it is you want to help you strike your cuttings, put them in. Uh, depending upon where you are, if you're in a greenhouse like this, it doesn't make much difference. If you're just doing this by itself, you might want to put a plastic bag to keep the humidity in, uh, and away you go. Well, there you have it. Easy to make, easy to use, and give you a good chance of getting good cuttings every time. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, if you want to leave a comment down below, if you've ever used something like this, and uh, you want to let me know how it went, that would be great. Uh, and uh, leave a like if you want as well. Thanks. Mm -hmm.